In today's episode of Sound As Fast As Possible, you're going to learn how a compressor works, so you can have an easier time making every worship mix an enjoyable one. You know when you get your mix set during sound check, and then somebody gets pretty excited when the service starts, and they play a lot louder than everybody else? Or you push out the guitar while it's doing a nice gentle picking pattern, and then they start strumming really loud and blow your head off? Yeah, that's happened to me too. There's a tool for that, and it's called a compressor. But what do all those controls do? The threshold control allows us to pick at what point the compressor starts working. Below the threshold, we're not applying any compression. The input is going to equal the output. But above the threshold, we apply the ratio. The ratio is where all the action happens. It tells the compressor how much output to let out for additional input that comes in. With the compression ratio of 4 to 1, every time the signal goes up another 4 decibels, we only get one more decibel out. We've applied a gain reduction of three decibels. Now if our ratio is set to 10 to one, for every 10 decibels of increased input, we're only gonna get one more decibel of increased output. In that instance, we would have nine decibels of gain reduction, which is a pretty good squashing. If you have a knee setting on your compressor, here's what it does. A hard knee goes from one to one below your threshold directly to your selected ratio above the threshold. There's no transition period. A soft knee starts applying a gentler ratio below the threshold gradually increasing to your selected ratio. This gives you a little bit of compression while the signal level is lower, but it still gives you the full effect of your chosen ratio as the signal increases. The makeup or output gain is the gain stage that comes after the gain reduction circuit. Because we're turning down the signal with our ratio, we want to turn it back up to match the level that it was before. Boosting the input signal is effectively the same as lowering the threshold, and so that doesn't really help us. The attack and release controls let us add a time dimension to the compressor's gain reduction. The attack time is how quickly the gain reduction circuit responds to increased input. If the attack time is set fast, it will respond more quickly to sudden increases in amplitude. But if it's set slow, it will let more of the transients through and respond more to overall level changes. This also changes the tone of the compressor, but more on that in a minute. The release time is how quickly the gain reduction circuit recovers or comes back up after the amplitude's decreased. You'll want to match this to the rhythmic element of the signal that you're compressing. Now, a word about compression and how you hear. Your ear will always think that louder is better. When we're applying gain reduction with compression, it's getting quieter, but we need to boost it back up so that it's about the same average level when we hit bypass on our compressor, so our ear isn't tricked to thinking one is better than the other just because it's a little louder. So if this is making sense so far, type Sound Ninja in the comments below. Now let's get to the feeling part of compression. This is where the sauce is. A faster attack time makes it feel thinner, while a slower attack time makes it feel thicker. Although it is possible to set the attack time so slow that it's basically like you've got your finger on the fader. The ratio you choose lets you balance between control and size. A higher ratio is going to give you more control but make the signal sound smaller, while a lower ratio is going to give you less control but it's going to feel bigger. All these mixing tools are great, but if you don't have clear parameters for what a winning mix looks like for your church, you're always going to be wondering if you hit the mark or not. Clear up all the confusion by downloading my free guide, How to Lead Your Church Sound Team. The link's in the description below. Download it today and share it with your leadership team. You'll be glad you did. Be sure to check out the other videos in this playlist, and we'll see you back here next time for Sound As Fast As Possible.